All right, this is an update on what's happening with Church International. That's Robin Bullock's church in Warrior, Alabama. And with uh, Janet Indegwa, who traveled 2,000 miles on a Greyhound and got to the church and was turned away at the door. And so Channel 13, WVTM News out of Birmingham, Alabama, picked this story up. So we're going to listen to a report they did on tonight's news. May 29th, 2023, and we're going to comment as we go. And I implore you to watch my entire video here because I'm going to show you the difference between a scamming, cult, narcissistic, fake church compared to a true biblical church. And it's very moving. So stay tuned for that. But right now, let's, uh, let's watch the clip that aired on the news tonight. Brittany and Guy? Jason, thank you. The warrior community is taking the phrase, love thy neighbor, to another level. A California woman recently trekked to the city after she believes Church International leaders there led her to move there. But when she got to the door, things didn't go as expected. WVTM 13's Magdala Lusant has her story. 82-year-old Janet Degua seems to be in good spirits, despite living in an unfamiliar territory for over a week. Clinging to Jesus, grateful that I can and enjoying every minute of it. Degwa, a retired social worker from California, says she felt led to move to Warrior after she says she heard Church International's pastor say so. She's been following the ministry for a few months. The invitation that was given on YouTube was essentially this. He was saying, if you find that you have a kindred spirit with what I'm sharing with you and with what I do, you know, what I think, come. She took a three-day bus trip to Warrior, and when she arrived on May 21st, she says she was met with hesitancy by a church staff member. If they make a call like that, I'm just assuming all the staffing would know. So I was at a loss to figure out what was going on, but I wasn't going to press her. It was like, had I gone there penniless, that might have been a different story. People in Warrior have quickly learned of Degwa's story. She's currently staying with a couple while others help her find a permanent home. I've grown to love this little place in the little time that I've been here. The people are certain nice. Grateful of the neighborly love, she's learning why she was truly called to the city. Things may not could, could have turned differently, but I never got a chance to enter that door. And that may have been a good thing. My prayer is that your city will not be altered in any way because it's a beautiful place. And like I said, what I saw there is to be treasured. We've reached out to church leaders at Church International for an interview and statement and haven't heard back. In Warrior, I'm Magdala Lusant, WVTM 13. All right, so they reached out to the church and they didn't respond. That's Robin and Robin Bullock. They didn't respond. And again, shocking, but not shocking. Now, if you saw my first report, it was on last week's Friday for Eclipse. Lee Hedgepath, this is the guy that wrote the first article. This is a follow-up to that first article. And so what happened, essentially, and I'm not going to go too much into this, Robin got wind of the article. And this is what he said in his service last week. Quote, this is Robin talking, and we have cowardly people standing behind keyboards developing hit pieces on everything they can just to cause, uh, just to cause division in the body. That's all it's about. Is it not a hit piece? Is it not a new type of assassinations? Really? What a drama queen. Assassins? Where they can finally develop social media sites where they can block everything but their own narrative? Because truth that's hidden is truth that's rewritten. And this was Robin Bullock as he spoke in front of the church on May 28th, 2023. But look what Lee writes here. The Bullocks and Church International did not respond to multiple requests for comment before the publication of Thursday's piece. So what Robin's doing here, and this is cult 101 cult leader behavior is he's playing the victim. He's gonna cry persecution. He's gonna call people like Lee Hedgepath uh, assassin, an assassin, basically. When he was contacted multiple times and he chose 
he chose as a an alleged leader of the church of Jesus Christ, he chose not to respond. And it's a pattern here because he chose not to respond to Channel 13 either. It is absolutely astonishing. So the question is, why doesn't Robin respond? Well, because he's fake. He's not a real church, nor is his wife, nor are all the players, all the actors, I should say, in the background. This is a family rock and roll band that scams the earth via the internet. He does not care for the sons and daughters of God Almighty. What he cares about is putting on a good show, making sure that his leather looks crisp and clean, that he's got his wizard staff and his hair scrunchy, and he puts on the show. This is what the Bible calls a hireling. Now, I would tell you, because I'm, I, I am ranting here a little bit, there are people out there that care about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Robin Bullock is not one of them. I can't imagine if I had a church where anyone, much less an 82-year-old woman who traveled 2,000 miles in a Greyhound bus, showed up and this type of situation developed. I can't imagine not dropping everything that I was doing to run to any news organization that reported this or anyone that would even tell me of this to quickly remedy the situation and help this person, Janet and Degwa, any way that I could. For crying out loud, this is what the church exists for. And this man refuses to be a man And to take care of this, it is unbelievable. And I pray that more people would get a hold of this and expose this, because this is a travesty. Robin Bullock unequivocally is a hireling, and he has demonstrated this in full public view. And he doesn't care. If you want to see the coldest of the coldest hearts, you're looking at him right here. As long as he can play his guitar, right? Oh, now you got to pick up the shofar and blow the shofar because people love this. This gets the checks coming in. This gets the MasterCards and the Visa cards going. Yeah, unbelievable. So there's my rant. Now, what I'm going to show you is a contrast, and you're going to hear something incredible here a real church watch this clip that i'm going to play for you right now so from time to time our church will have people just wander up and spend the night right here on these benches at our front door and we are 100 percent good with that i have to admit that when we made these benches that's not exactly what we had in mind but god's never about what we had in mind and i sure am glad now when this stuff does happen our security cameras pick it up and we always leave them alone until the sun comes up and once the sun comes up one of us and sometimes a few of us will get together and make sure they're all right we make sure they're fed and their basic needs are taken care of now the most recent one happened this week and several of the guys actually joined us we had breakfast together and we sat around and talked about life for well over an hour i'm so thankful to be surrounded by people that are more interested in being the church than having church you see this guy He's someone's son, but more importantly, he is a child of God. And if that were my son, I would hope that someone was showing compassion. See, because our job is not to judge and condemn him, our job is to embrace him, love him, and help provide for him. But it's really got me to thinking this week. Anything we do inside this building is pointless. If we don't live it outside this building, it doesn't matter how wonderful the songs that we sing in here are, if we don't sing that song out here as well. It doesn't matter how good the sermon in here is. If the sermon out here that we preach is the exact opposite. If we're known more by what happens inside these walls than what we do outside of them, then that's a problem. I think we're going to build more benches that are inside and cushioned with a shower so we can love on more people. Isn't that incredible? It's absolutely incredible. The first time I saw that clip, uh, I was moved to tears. Now, to be fair, I don't know who this man is. I don't know what church this is. All I know is uh, that when he spoke, I heard the Holy Spirit. And uh, he's helping people. He's helping homeless people. In case you didn't 
understand what he was saying. They put these new benches outside his church and uh, looked like some homeless people were showing up and, you know, sleeping on these benches. And uh, he took them in and he helps people and he feeds people, makes sure that they have what they need because, as he said, they're sons of God, they're daughters of God. And this is what a church is supposed to do, not what Robin Bullock has done. What an absolute tragedy. What a travesty when it comes to Robin Bullock. And the, and the funny thing here is Robin Bullock behaves the same way as all the corrupt politicians in Washington, D.C. behave. This is what Robin spends the majority of his time railing against, and he actually behaves worse because he's doing it in the name of Jesus Christ. In other words, he makes his living lying in the name of Jesus Christ. Who do you think is going to be in more trouble on Judgment Day? I shudder, as I said before, I tremble and shudder for Robin Bullock for what he's doing. Just terrible. Forgive me, this is my rant. I'm ranting a little bit. Certainly pray for Robin Bullock. I do pray for him that he would come to the truth of Jesus Christ and put away his rock star, idol, fake church, and come to the truth of Jesus Christ. But in the meantime, I also pray that God would shut his ministry down because he is actively shipwrecking the faith of an un untold number worldwide as his filth is broadcast through the internet all over the world. He's shipwrecking faith. He is exactly who Jesus warned you about in Matthew 24. For many false prophets shall rise and deceive many. This is Robin. Continue to pray for Janet and Degwa. Precious lady, there's been talk that she's a Jehovah's Witness. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that if I had a church and an 82-year-old showed up at my church that just came 2,000 miles, I'd open the door for her. I'd say, get in here. Let's get you fed, get you the things you need, just like that one pastor was saying. And then we then we would focus on doctrine, perhaps. I don't know all the details. I just know that you help your brother and sister. But pray for her and pray for the brave citizens of Warrior, Alabama, who have to endure this nutcase, Robin Bullock. So I guess I'll end my rant there. For those of you that love Jesus Christ in truth and sincerity, God bless you.